all right? You know, busy, busy has its benefits. You know, a nigga's favorite thing to do is say, hey, fuck this shit, I'm out of here. Where you going? <laughs> Y'all all right? God is up to something, boy, I tell you. Some of y'all don't even know it. But you actually fell in love and you've been either engaged and in a full-on relationship. Some of y'all are in relationships right now where you used to going out to restaurants every night, shopping, spending, traveling, Birkin bags, Red Bottoms, Gucci, Fendi, Prada, Louis Vuitton. You've been purchasing that romance. That romance is for sale. What you gonna do now? Wait, 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 wait. So, so we gotta get to know each other? We ain't going to no parties, no clubs, no turn ups? We actually gotta talk. I ain't used to talking. I ain't used to communicating. I ain't used to laying in bed, having sex, then actually staying. So we we gonna have sex and then I, got, I gotta stay so we can actually talk and get to know each other. And ladies, what's your man's middle name? You know his middle name? What's his birthday? What's his mama's name? What's his daddy's name? What's his stepfather's name? What's his favorite color? Hey, fellas, what's her favorite color? You ever looked up the five love languages? Do you actually know your girl's love language? God is up to something. Figure out what it is. Your man and your wife or your girl ain't getting up in the morning to leave and get on a train, a bus, a Uber, a car ride, and going anywhere. She's just right there. And all of those issues that she's been having for years, y'all been able to stay in that friendship and that relationship because everybody's too busy to address the real shit. Is there anybody that's looking at this video that's actually engaged? You know, there is a difference. Listen, let me tell y'all a little story. There was somebody that I know, I will not, it's a celebrity, it's a woman, I will not say her name. She told me she was actually in a relationship with this dude for about three years and they're both celebrities. Super busy, concert shows, modeling all over the place, hustling, hosting parties, running around, moving. And they finally got their schedules together and they finally were able to take their first vacation in three years of dating. And the vacation was about nine days long. After the vacation, they broke up. They have never, ever been in the same space without having to leave at a certain point. God is about to reveal so much. Some of y'all are going through some financial traumas because you can't work, you out of work. You got some friends with some money. Some of them are millionaires, some of them are billionaires, some of them are thousandaires, some of them got a couple hundred. Every time you've ever needed anything, I don't care what it is, you've always showed up for this person. Now you need it. You've always had your own money. You've always been the higher income earner of all the people on your team around you, your friends, your homies. You always pay for dinner, lunch. I don't care if it's Denny's, Chick-fil-A, whatever. Mr. Childs, Nobu. No, don't worry about it. I got it, man. Let me get the tab. Now that your money's a little tight, 
real shit is about to be revealed. God is up to something. God is about to reveal the real versus the fake. Something else God is doing. We get along. We love each other. We're in love when everything is great. But a whole lot about the person that you share your life with gets revealed when tragedy strikes. When it's time to go to war, my thinking and my instincts is over here. Your thinking and your instincts is way over there. God is up to something. All that shit you've been brushing under the rug, no matter how long you've been together, it's all